Now I am going to teach you desert animals lesson from unit 9. So open the page number 112. Now we will see in this lesson who are the desert animals, what they do there and certain another things. So I am starting from the, from the paragraph 1. Deserts are the driest places on earth and sometimes go for months or even years without rain. So desert is the place where you will see only and only wind, only deserts. There is no any rain, no any water. But even the desert animals cannot survive without water or for long periods in the scorching sun. So they have had to find different ways of coping with the harsh conditions. But just think about the animals, how they can survive in desert. So they find out some new ways to survive because scorching means see very hot. In desert, you will see there are so much hot in the nature. So they cannot survive. So they find out the new ways to survive. For example, garbils spend the hottest part of the day in cool underground burrows. So see, garbil, do you know garbil who is a, who seems like a mouse? So what they do? They, they go underground and there is a small hole they made and in that hole under the ground they live their life. And strange insects called darkling beetles are experts at catching drops of moisture on their legs then lifting them into the air until the drops trickle down into their mouth. So jo, uh, see some insects, uh, insects like darkling beetles what they do? They catch all the, uh, catch the drop of the moisture on their egg and then they catch and they lift them into the air so that they get some moisturization, uh, moisture or something cool, cool or uh, you can say a cool atmosphere so that they do that, they got uh, enjoy in that. Not all deserts are endless, seas of rolling and dunes. Some are rocky or pebbly and dotted with small bushes while others are sprinkled with colorful flowers during the spring. So not all the animals like to like uh, all the dunes and rolling. Some like rocky also, pebbly also, pebbly means stony. Some animals do live in the uh, stony atmosphere in the rocks. There are more than 2300 different kinds of snakes around the world ranging from just 15 centimeters long to more than 11 meters. Most snakes are quite harmless but there are a few that are so poisonous. They can kill a human being with just one bite. Now talking about the snakes. Most snakes lay eggs but there are many which give birth to their young. In the dry rocky deserts of America lives a rather evil looking snake with a very bad reputation. Now there is one uh, snake who is very bad. What he do in the dry rocky desert of America? Where do he live? He live in America. Its frightening rattle can be heard as far as 30 meters away and it can strike with lightning speed. So this fry, what he do? He just frightened who, who scared all the other animals. And there is some lightning also you will see in his on his body. But the rattlesnake or a rattler as it is sometimes called prefers to avoid people if it possibly can. Now rattler, rattlesnake who is uh, quite dangerous. It holds its tail upright and rattles 
the end whenever it is disturbed what does rattlesnake do he hold on his tail and then he make some noisy some sound if he is getting disturbed in the hope that the intruder intruder will go away and he is making constantly making some sound so that the person will get away from there however if its warning are ignored and it feels threatened it will coil ready to bite and if you are not moving from there and if you are not going away from there then just be ready to get a bite so that rattlesnake will bite you but the rattlesnake rattler itself cannot hear the noise its own tail makes like most snakes it hears things through vibrations in the ground so what is the uh, important thing about rattlesnake he makes vibrate a uh, vibrational sound but he own cannot feel his uh, that voice if a person walks near by the snake can feel the movement but if the same person were to shout it would not hear a thing little snakes are very common and widespread animals living right across the american continent from canada to argentina so little snake is most of the famous snake and it is a widespread from through the american continent and you can find him through from canada to argentina they feed on a variety of prey including mice voles rats chipmunks and many other small animals so this is the little snakes food little snakes kill their prey with venom like all snakes they swallow the unfortunate animals whole few snakes have to eat more than once a week and some such as the larger pythons can survive for a year or more without eating so some little snake what they do they eat their prey only it means some another same species of animal they eat now mongooses mongooses like to hunt together but they always keep a look out for a dangerous predators nearby now what is a predator an animal naturally preying on others poking their noses into holes overturning rocks with their paws and scratching the ground with their sharp claws banded mongooses are very amusing animals to watch now see in this picture you will see this is the mongoose what they do they like to hunt together they uh, you will find mongoose is no, uh, there is a group of mongooses you will find all the time and they like to hunt and what they do they they poke their nose into the hole and then they overturn that with the rock with their paws and then scratch that to their sharp claws in the ground a common sight in many parts of africa they travel in group of about 20 to forage for beetles millipedes and other small creatures they like to hunt together keeping in touch whenever they go out of sight behind rocks or bushes by twittering and calling so they like to move together they like to hunt together always on the lookout for a danger hawks eagles and large snakes they warn one another with a spe special alarm call if they spot anything suspicious so what they do they also warn to one another by their any uh, by making any one a uh, voice or any sound and then if they got anything suspicious mongooses are famous for being able to kill snakes without getting hurt themselves their reactions are so fast that they can dodge each time to snake strikes they continually make a nuisance of themselves until after a while when the snake 
gets tired they quickly dive in for the kill so what mongooses do they like to hunt together and they their reactions are also so fast you will see they are moving very rapidly from one to another place all the female mongooses have their kitten at about the same time they are raised by the whole group in a den made inside an old termite mount or a hollow log when most of the adults are out looking for a food one or two males stay behind to stand guard until the others return for the night so what they do female mongooses are taking care of their kittens and by that time what the one of the main male mongoose will stay at that uh, stay out of the home and what they do they are they went to find out some food for their family and one mongoose also guarding their home another animal which lives in a desert is the camel now we will see about the camel camels were first domesticated by people many thousands of years ago in the wild camels usually live in small groups of up to 30 animals camels have long shaggy winter coats to keep warm and shorter tidier coats in the summer to keep cool so camels have both they can put themselves in a cool atmosphere or in the as well in the warm atmosphere a thirsty camel can drink as much as 30 gallons of water that's about 500 full glasses so only see it is about only one camel what he can do he can drink at a time 30 gallons of water if he is thirsty in just 10 minutes normally however it gets all the moisture it needs from desert plants and can survive for up to 10 months without drinking any water at all if he is 30 he can drink 30 gallons of water and after that he cannot drink any water for up to 10 months so he can survive up to 10 months without drinking water there are two different kinds of camel one known as the dromedary has only a single hump the other is called bactrian camel and has a two humps so what is the hump see on the uh, camel there is the back side of the camel it is one side is a raised there is a two side is a raised and that raised side you can call that hump so there are two kinds of a camels one is a dromedary who has only one single hump and second is a bactrian it has two humps the humps help the animal to survive in the desert by acting as a storage containers so what the, uh, what the hump do they are storing the things they are acting like a storing storage containers but they don't store water as many people wrongly believe they are full of fat so these hump are not storing water it is just storing the fat this fat nourishes the camels when food is scarce if they have nothing to eat for several days their humps shrink as the fat is used up there are many other ways in which camels are adapted to desert life their mouths are so tough that even the sharp thorn cannot pierce through so the mouth of a camels are very sharp so you cannot piece that you cannot make two of them so this was about a desert desert animal what we saw we saw about the snakes mongooses and camels so i hope you understand this do read this at your home and find out the new words in your home thank you